What are some of the best Cajun food spots in Lafayette, Louisiana? Find out next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to a video in the Louisiana series. That's right, we've been to New Orleans before. We're gonna try out some of the best food around Lafayette. Louisiana. Right now we're here at the Tabasco factory taking a tour. You'll see that a little later on in the video. Let's try one of the most famous po' boys and local favorites in all of Lafayette right now. All right, we're at the very first place here in Lafayette, Louisiana, and this is Old Time Grocery. One of the Lafayette Tourism Board members said this place was the spot to go for po' boys. And it looks like they have like soft shell crab today, but we went with the oysters and the fried shrimp. Let's try out some po' boys. I haven't had a po' boy in Louisiana since my last trip here in 2016, so I'm really excited to try some of this out. What do the shrimp wear in the kitchen? Aprons, get it? <laughs> Looks like Old Time Grocery has been here since 1982. I wasn't born yet, so nice. Just look how simple the menu is. You know, they have the po' boy with meats. A whole one is 1075 or 750. You got your seafood ones and they vary, but you know, you gotta get the shrimp or the oyster. And then catfish are only on Friday. And then they also have some specialty ones that are a little more expensive. All right guys, so we waited for about like 10 minutes, but we got half of a oyster po' boy and half of a fried fried shrimp po' boy and the pieces of shrimp in here are huge. You got your lettuce, mayo, tomato. I'm gonna pour some Tabasco of course. You all know I love the Tabasco and stay tuned because we're gonna take a nice little tour of the Tabasco factory. Let's dig in. I always see this green bottle of Creole seasoning so we're definitely gonna use this up. Don't put too much though. I think I put a little too much. First po' boy back in Louisiana in six years. Oh yeah, these oysters are tasty. But I'm being told that the shrimp is what makes old time grocery the place to be. So we'll get to the shrimp, but I wanted to try this oyster first. Mm. We're getting messy here, guys. We're gonna try out the shrimp. And when I asked the kid at the counter, he had no hesitation. He's like, if you don't get the shrimp, don't get anything at all. Mm-hmm. The bread keeps this together real well. This is a shrimp lightly breaded mm, yeah you definitely have to get the shrimp when you're here that's why you know louisiana shrimp po boys number one i'm glad this is the first one i'm trying and you know it's old time grocery so they have chips snacks saw some pecan pie i wanted to try some local beers which i'll take back to the hotel and drink later if you want some drinks some coffee water they have it all here one stop shop oh, they even have some spicy cajun craw taters you all know i'm gonna get that Alright JK Shitters, we've made it to the next spot. We're here 30 minutes outside of Lafayette here in Avery Island. We're at the Tabasco factory. We're gonna learn a lot about the hot sauce and how it's made and try out some food to partner with the different types of Tabasco because there's a lot of other different flavors than just the red bottle that you usually see all over the world. So I'm really excited because y'all know I'm all about that hot sauce and that bag swag. So let's take a little tour around the Tabasco Museum and Factory. Tabasco sauce was invented in 1868 by Edmund McElhenney. The McElhenney family has ran it ever since then. We're here at the 1868 restaurant, which is open seven days a week from 10 o'clock to 2 p.m. for lunch. We're trying out their Bloody Marys. They brought some of that Tito's vodka, uh, some other peppers, and they mixed some of the uh, different types of Tabasco. One is garlic and one is like their special aged one, so. Yeah, you guys know I don't really like Bloody Marys, but you gotta try it here, so why not? I splashed a little Tito's in here too. We're actually trying out the ground pepper. They got them right here. And they give you a cup because you're just trying to get your taste buds going in your tongue until you gotta spit it out. I definitely got that Tabasco taste to it, but I didn't realize that hot sauce, Tabasco sauce is 88% vinegar. So you tasted the same pepper, but it's been aged. Do y'all taste the difference? Yeah. 
that's the aged one, but it also makes the hot sauce here at Tabasco really special is that they age the peppers for three years. Not everybody gets this, but if you wear this, this means that you got to try the pepper mash, and not everybody on a normal tour would get to try this. I'm still feeling it, but we are in the region of Acadian, and Budan sausage is what's really popular here. They said it's finger food not to use the fork, so let's dig in. I, I'm excited. I haven't tried Budan before. Oh, it's very like soft and mushy. It's really good. What do y'all think? Pretty good? Um, the mm. difference between a really good boudin and a cheap made boudin is the amount of rice. All boudin will contain rice. Rice is a filler. But the more rice, the less meat, the cheaper it's co it, it costs to make. You notice there's not very much rice in our boudin at all. Before you get to the end of it, we would like for you to open that container in the center. Take the lid off that container. We'd like you to dip the Buddha into that container and then try it that way. This is going to be the first example that you have of what pepper sauce does to the taste of food. It's like a sweet sauce. So that is our Tabasco pepper jelly. And once again, when you add pepper to food, when you add our Tabasco to food, it enhances the flavor of the food. Did y'all like it? Yeah. Look at stuff, huh? In the Iberia. But that you gotta try this garlic. Really, with that being said, we have a number of festivals in this area. We have a crawfish festival, a shrimp festival, frog, um, cattle. One of the festivals that we have. That's really this good. Boudin has, boudin has a lot of rice in it, and it makes it really mushy. So it's not like your normal bratwurst or hot dog. You got the pop of the sausage skin on top, but then in the inside is more mushy of a texture. This is the egg roll with the boudin. There was a miscount in the kitchen, so. Mm, wow. Nice. You know, for us in this area, we know the, the, the places that have good boudin and, and the places that don't. But people who aren't from here and have boudin on the brain, a lot of people will get their first experience with boudin at a convenience store. It's something that's mass produced, Smoke it's full of rice, it's very cheap, and it's not a true representation of, of what our boudin should taste like. Boudin for us is not something that we just eat in the evenings. Uh, it's, it's, it could be a breakfast, it could be a lunch or a dinner. So this is their scorpion sauce? With our scorpion sauce, you'll notice that the heat does not just stay in your mouth. You should feel it on the back of your neck, on your forehead, oh, yeah. on your cheeks. Yeah. Welcome to Ibrida. I can stand it. Yeah, it's good. good. Yeah, the heck yeah. has a nice fruity flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Kind of sweetness. Yeah, but it does travel. Once you swallow it, it does travel like You feel it in on the back, back. Your neck? Yeah, one That's more. That's a good sauce to eat in the wintertime. <laughs> Keeps you warm. Warm in the face. Mm, this is good stuff. Man. I'm buying all this hot sauce to get back home. This is their red beans and rice. They said that this is like a Monday meal for you because after a long weekend of you know eating all the bad stuff, this is what you want to cleanse yourself with, I guess. Mm, that is tasty. That is really good. It's sweet. Mm. Oh wow. So you were saying two drops of this garlic sauce. So this is the garlic. Beans are still piping hot. Basco pepper sauce is meant to enhance the flavor and not mask the flavor of food. The point that they were trying to make here is you do a couple of dabs with it, it enhances the taste. It just gives that garlic hot flavor to it. It's really good. Mm. So for us in southern Louisiana, we have crawfish etouffee, shrimp etouffee, crab etouffee, chicken etouffee, you just put a protein with the etouffee. Uh, most people who, who know how to make an etouffee realize that it's a very simple meal. It's, it's very few ingredients. Uh, but for us, the biggest problem with people making an etouffee is they try to add too many ingredients. An etouffee consists of butter, onions, bell pepper, celery, seafood stock, and the protein that you put in. This is the crawfish etouffee, and over here in this part of Louisiana, this is considered now a delicacy, but back in the day, crawfish was considered a poor family, poor person's food, but now it's way up there and it's just a delicacy. And they gave us the family reserve to try with it. It's one little dab of it. I'm filling up, guys, but I like how this crawfish looks like. We're gonna have to try out a nice gulp. Yum. Our guide was also telling us that crawfish 
etouffee shouldn't be muddied in too many ingredients. It should just be simple with its ingredients. The family reserve is kind of like, you know, when you dip bread into olive oil and vinegar, kind of like that. It has that kind of soury, vinegary taste to it. Next up, this is award-winning. This is their Louisiana Cajun gumbo, and it's got sausage and chicken in it. Y'all know I like that gumbo. Ooh, very soupy, obviously. This is a chicken and sausage gumbo. This mm. is what we refer to as a Cajun gumbo. New Orleans is considered to be more of a Creole-style gumbo, and the difference between a Creole gumbo and a Cajun gumbo is the ingredients. Gumbo right here, you will not find tomatoes or okra. In New Orleans, okra is just, in, in almost every gumbo that you order, you're gonna have okra. Okra acts as a thickening agent. And the gumbo's in New Orleans. If you take your spoon and put your spoon into the broth and take it out of the broth, that broth is gonna stick to the back of your spoon because of the okra. When you do it with our gumbos, that broth rolls off of your gumbo, right? Uh, rolls off of your spoon. The family reserve is actually aged eight years instead of three years, and they use like a white wine vinegar with it. That's what makes that taste that I was explaining. It kind of tasted like I was dipping my bread into like vinaigrette and olive oil at an Italian restaurant. That's kind of like what it reminded me of, except it's spicy. Their gumbo here in this area is way different than what you'd find in New Orleans, which we're gonna try in another video. It's a little more soupy, and they do have the sausage and chicken in it. Super, super delicioso. Last but not least, this is the Louisiana bread pudding with a rum sauce up top. I wish you guys had smell of vision because this smells like you're walking through your mall and there's a Cinnabon coming up. You take a big whiff and that's exactly what's in this, but oof, it looks so good. Nice and soft, that rum sauce. Ooh, it gets a nice little, very, very minimal kick to it, but it's good. They gave us the raspberry chipotle. Here's your raspberry chipotle. I've never had a dessert hot sauce before. That's definitely dessert hot sauce. That's coming home with me. 1868 restaurant, definite must try. You'll also learn a little bit about pairing Tabasco with your food to enhance the flavor, not mask. Now we're here at the Tabasco factory. Every single bottle of Tabasco product that you see around the world comes from this factory. They're gonna show us a little bit about how it's made, just the grounds, and they have some beautiful trees here on Avery Island. It's nice and humid over here right now, actually. We're now in a greenhouse where they're growing some peppers. This is the jalapeno pepper, and this is how your Tabasco pepper looks like right here. And if you're looking at the habanero peppers right here too. And then we bring them over to the other side where we're going to go. So we're in the blending area of the factory now. We're here inside the Tabasco store. You know I'm gonna pick up some of the gift bags here. I'm looking at this combo of like seven or eight. I think I'm gonna get this one. Hot sauce ice cream. This is their sriracha ice cream right here. Ooh, it tastes like a vanilla swirl with like chili spice to it. It's sweet. It's got like a cool spiciness to it. It's like having a vanilla swirl mixed with sriracha basically. That's exactly what it is. Don't knock it till you try it because it's tasty. Mm, this right here, Tabasco Coca-Cola. It's all right. Forget the hot sauce on the bag swag. Why don't you get the hot sauce on a keychain? That is perfect. So we're in Gator Country, but that was a little. That's I mean it's far, but nah, I'm good. I'll go back to the van.
We're at the next place. This is the Rock and Bowl de Lafayette. We're gonna have dinner here with the T-Bex crew, try out some Cajun grub, and hopefully they're playing the Padres game right now because it's game two of the NLDS. You all know I gotta watch that. We're in Lafayette, Louisiana. Rock and Bowl, the famous Rock and Bowl. You guys got TVs in here? Yes, sir. We have. Watch the game, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I've been trying this local distillery, JT Melick Distillery. It's local here in Louisiana. Their vodka is on point. And this is one of their uh, raspberry drinks with lime. Oh, man. This will sneak up on you. You don't even tell. They have multiple bowling lanes. We can play some bowling tonight, but with the Padres playing in about 45 minutes, I'm ready to watch the game. We got some haricot vert, shrimp and grits, crawfish etouffee and rice. Let's go. We're at our next spot. This is Warehouse 535. It's a bar slash stage, and they have six of the best restaurants here that's serving their top foods on their menu. So we're gonna talk to a few of the restaurants around Lafayette and try some of the best of the best all in one spot. So right here we've got a crawfish bisque, local Louisiana crawfish. We're from Bessel Restaurant. It's a live fire restaurant, all wood, no gas. We do a lot of uh, steaks and seafood, everything from ribeye and fillets to uh, some very nice wagyu cuts. We've also got whole fish. It's changing all the time. We also have a catch of the day. We also do pasta. Everything's made in house, everything from scratch. Nice. Uh, Looking forward to trying the crawfish bisque. Yeah. And uh, we're right here downtown. We're gonna try out the Vestal Crawfish Bisque. Some nice pieces of crawfish here. They're right in downtown. Mmm. Yeah, this biscuit's tasty. It's got a little spice to it. I feel like it's like a little gingery. Mmm. That crawfish is really nice. Oh, that's so tasty. I'm digging this. Smoked duck and andouille gumbo. This is a Creole style of gumbo, very, very dark root, thick, almost a stew consistency. Different regions in Louisiana have their own way of doing gumbo. The St. Martinville area around here would be a very light root and a light style gumbo. The Creole culture in this area, their gumbos have a ten tendency to be very thick, the, the roux is very dark, and very few ingredients. This gumbo has the trinity, duck, and andouille only, and the roux and, and, and simple stock. stuff. Very simple. Not too many ingredients. Not yeah. too many ingredients. Nice. Thank you. Enjoy. And you're one of the more popular restaurants in all the town, right? Well, I think so. I like to think so, yes. <laughs> I haven't really stated my love for duck that much and to try the duck and due from a really popular restaurant here in Lafayette straight from the guy himself this is really good oh yeah the texture of the gumbo here is a lot more soupy very simple you, know, you get the duck taste from the pieces here mm. wow I could even put some Tabasco sauce on this to complement it but this is just as good. It has a little bit of a spice to it. Oh wow, I'm feeling the duck. All right. Your famous dirty rice. Dirty rice. Awesome. There you go. And where's Laura's located? Laura's is at 1904 West University Avenue in, well, of course, Lafayette, Louisiana. So come and see us. Nice. And uh, what, what else do you recommend? The stuff makes her keeping. That's what we're world known for, like famous. Stuff makes her keeping. It's stuff with garlic and seasoning. and she told us what you should try if you go over there. Oh my God, there is a, a Creole spice to this. Mm. There is some really good flavor to this dirty rice. Wow, and there comes the spice. It's not quite like adobo rice and like Filipino adobo rice, but it has all the seasoning and it does have like that Creole, like that red powder. It has a type of taste to it. Mm. 
Mmm, look at this charcuterie board. Huge charcuterie. Whole plethora of meats, fruits, veggies, cheeses. Look at that, beautiful. The sauce is in gravy style, tomato based gravy with all in house smoked meats with our smoked tasso and smoked sausage inside with our sticky rice. It originated as a, a grocery store in Eunice, Louisiana back in the 30s, and we brought the store to life based off of that, uh, that interpretation of the grocery store in, in Lafayette about 15 years ago. Johnson's Book and Year, which is Smokehouse and Cajun French. And we've been here ever since smoking our smoked meats, and we've made a brunch menu, a lunch menu. We do dinner specials once a month with uh, we bring in special Cajun artists every uh, second Sunday of the month, and we have a special dish of uh, their choosing. And they uh, kind of react, recreate their childhood, usually with big people, local people that grew up around here and stuff like that. Awesome. Thank sure. you very much. Thank you. Okay. Enjoy. So we got some of that salsa with the sausage. I haven't had so much rice today. Let's just start off with the sausage. Mm. Oh yeah, you can feel the picante. That is tasty. This is a good sausage. This is a gnarly barley from Hammond, Louisiana. This is their Juicifer IPA. Oh, nice, nice and hazy IPA. Oh yeah, I think I found the one on this tap, which I would get each time. You know I like that hazy IPA, guys, if you watch my San Diego videos. I had to try the dessert, the Bon V. Got one of the sour ones, the creme brulee. Look how the creme brulee looks, it looks just like their strawberries and cream and their peanut butter. I gotta try the creme brulee. That's creme brulee, baby. That's what's up. Mm. Let's try out the strawberries and cream. I don't think anything go wrong with this. Wow. Next up, peanut butter. cheese with the thicker potato slices. Oh my God, that is good. That's like having a potato wedge with like a light creamy cheese sauce mixed with some crawfish. That is the spot. And I gotta, I gotta finish it off with the juice burger. We just made it to the festivals, Acadiens et Creoles. They have some amazing Cajun food around here. I can smell it in the air, some great music. We're gonna try out as much food as we can as possible. This is really unique, nice little festival. It's going on throughout the weekend here in October in Lafayette. Yeah, let's check it out. Everybody's huddled up to watch a uh, giant long boudin being cut to signify the start of the festival. Be invited or not? Uh, Look at this guy. A, uh, OC, no, no. AOC, uh, Tammy Scott Wallace. I got the right the idea. Minister I got the right of, idea. There's around 200 travel, travel bloggers from all around the state who have been here experiencing our great food, music, and culture and writing all about it. So please help me in uh, welcoming T Bex to the festival. Alright guys, we're gonna try it out the Paradise Park American Lager from New Orleans. Let's try out this lager. Nice light lager, very Budweiser-y, but obviously better. I 
like the pink pan and the teal. Kind of reminds me of the Padre City Connect. Y'all already know. But I'm looking at the food here. Once they serve it, we're gonna chow down. Some curried okra with some chickpea. Uh, there's some bread pudding, some delicious salad, so a little something for everybody. Uh, and Broussard for providing all of the sides. And the Acadian Super Red for the meat spread. The Surgeon Butcher. Awesome. Bonjour. Bonjour. So this is the final segment here in Lafayette. Shout out to Lafayette uh, Tourism and T-Bex for taking us around here. We're gonna try out this bowl of meat. We got the pulled pork here. They got the boudin. You got some sausage and it looks so good. Oh yeah. That pulled pork. You can taste the barbecue char. Nice and thick. Oh, it's so good. And this is the home of boudin. So we obviously you gotta have some of that. Oh yeah, nice and mushy. I wish I had my hot sauce with me, but it's back in the room. We're just gonna have to eat it straight up. Mm, look at that. Finally, some sausage. Mm -hmm. A salad with some honey mustard and feta cheese. Nice sweet mustard, the feta cheese, and mixed with like cheddar and American. It's pretty good. So if you're looking for authentic Cajun food, you gotta come here to Lafayette. There's so many restaurants. We tried so many last night at Warehouse 535. So make sure you check out those places. I'll have them all linked down in the description box below. Wow, we're having such a great time. We're headed to New Orleans next. We've also checked out the Abita Strawberry Lager, which looks really good. And yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna go live on YouTube and check out the music here at the festival. It's all weekend long. It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday event in October. Definitely recommend checking this place out. This time of year, the weather is nice and this people watching and the food shout out all the raging Cajuns out there this is amazing so cheers they told me to try the bread pudding they said you can't leave this festival or Lafayette without trying the bread pudding some foam on there mmm you know what good, would go good with this is that Tabasco ice cream that I had a couple days ago but that's tasty nice moist bread pudding with white foam on top Mm. All right, educationers, that will do it here from Lafayette, Louisiana. Some of the best Cajun food I've ever had. We are in Cajun country after all. Make sure you check out the Tabasco factory. Try out the boudin here. Their poor boy sandwiches over at the Old Time Grocery. It's awesome. And there's my boy right here. Like, comment, subscribe. This is Todd's Mexico. Make sure you check out his channel. He has a lot of great food content in Mexico City. And yeah, like the video. We'll see you in NOLA. No words of education. Stay traveling, Lafayette. Cheers, brother. Cheers.